Welcome to Electra Online, and now we're going to look at, an, again, another way of expressing the concentration of a solution. In this case, we're going to look at molality, and that's not to be confused with molarity. It's a very different thing. Well, not very different. Again, it, it expresses the concentrations of, of a solution, but it's a different way. Notice the definition. For molarity, it was the number of moles per liter of solution. For molality, it's the number of, of moles of solute to the number of kilograms of the solvent. So notice again, number of moles of solute to number of liters of solution. Molality is the number of moles of solute to the number of kilograms of solvent, not solution. So there's two differences here. First of all, it's moles to mass versus moles to liters. So volume here, mass here, and it's moles of mass of the solvent as opposed to moles of uh, volume of the solution. So there's some Significant differences here. Why would we want to do that? Well, sometimes it's just more convenient when you match the sol solute with the solvent that you measure out a certain amount of solute and you measure out a certain amount of solvent and then you mix them together. Of course, you can't do that when you talk about molarity because you want to find out how much end volume you want to end up with. So you add a, a certain amount of, uh, of solvent until the, so the volume of the solution has reached the value that you want it to be. Here, you simply measure out in mass the amount of solute you have, or the number of moles, how much solute you have, and then uh, the number of um, kilograms of solvent, then just mix them together, and then you have a certain molality. So let's do an example of that. Here we are. What is the molality of a 40% weight in weight solution of ethanol and water? Now, we've done this before, and we're supposed to, in, this, in the previous case, we tried to find the molarity of this type of solution. Now we're going to find the molality, and we're going to compare the two. Again, the density is 0.8937 grams per milliliters, as opposed to 893.7 grams per liter. So again, let's find out how many moles of ethanol that we have. And again, we're going to start out with, if we have one liter of the solution, one liter of uh, the solution will give us how many moles of ethanol. So number of moles of ethanol, that's C2H5OH, is equal to, of course, for that we need to have the amount of mass of the ethanol. And the mass of the ethanol, well, one liter of the solution will have this much, this many grams of the total solution. So let's take the total solution, which is 893.7 grams. That would be the mass of the total solution, but since only 40% of that is ethanol, we have to multiply that times 40%. So now we have the mass of the ethanol in one liter of solution. If we now divide that by the mass per mole, which is a molar mass, so divide that by the molar mass of ethanol, which is 46 grams per mole. Then you can see grams cancel out, and we're simply left over with moles. So that will give us the number of moles of ethanol in one liter of the solution. All right, let's do that. 893.7 times 0.4 divided by 46 equals, and it's 7.77 moles. And that would be of ethanol, C2H5OH, in this particular solution. All right, notice that for the molality, we need to know the number of moles of the solute divided by the number of kilograms of the solvent. So now we need to know how much of the solvent we have. Well, let's see here, in one liter solution, we have this much total solution. Of that, 40% of that is the mass of the ethanol, and then the 60% of that will be the mass of the water. So the mass of the solvent, which of course in this case is water, is equal to the total mass of the solution, which is 893.7 grams, and then multiply it times the 60%, the remainder of what's in the solution, 40% ethanol, 60% water. So take 893.7, times 0 0.6, and we get 536, 536.2 grams of water. And now finally, we go ahead and we make the division here for molality. We take the number of moles of the solute, which is 7.77, divide by the number of kilograms of the solvent, which will give us the molality of that solution. So molality is equal to 
the number of moles of the solute divided by the mass of the solvent. In this case, the number of moles of solute was 7.77 divided by the mass of the solvent, which was this much in grams. Of course, you want to convert that to kilograms, which is 0.5362 kilograms. So if we take the inverse of that, there we go, times 7. Point, whoop, let me do that again. 7.77 divided by 0.5362 equals, and we end up at 14.5, 14.49 actually. And of course, that would be moles per kilogram of solvent. That would be moles of solute per kilograms of solvent are the units of our answer. Now remember, since um, one liter of solution had 7.77 moles of, of the ethanol. The molarity was 7.77, but the molality is 14.49. So it's a very different number. So here we can say that the, mo the molality is equal to 14.49. That would be moles of solute divided by per kilogram of solvent. And the molarity is equal to 7.77 moles per liter of the solution. A lot of difference in the number, but they have a very different significance in that here you can very easily just simply find the number of moles of the solute and divide it by the amount of mass of the solvent you're going to use. Notice that this amount is completely independent of temperature because as temperature changes, the mass of your solvent will not change. Molarity is the number of moles of the solute divided by the number of liters of the whole solution. And that number will be temperature dependent because the density of the materials will change with changing temperature. And of course, the ratio of the densities will change as well. And so this is dependent on temperature. This is independent on temperature. So there's different reasons for using either molality or molarity.